habits can completely change the trajectory of our lives. I'm using this to my advantage and using the power of repetition to help me structure my minimalist lifestyle. I briefly mentioned in my previous video that I've been experimenting with different lifestyle concepts. When I came across minimalism, I noticed that a lot of the core values aligned with my own, and I knew that it could help me to reach my ultimate goal, which is to live a simpler and more intentional life. What I love about this philosophy is that it can be very practical. And over the past couple of months, I've been trying to develop these new minimalist habits to see how it can benefit me. Of course, it's still a work in progress, but I already feel a lot calmer and less stressed throughout the day. It has created space in my life, mentally and physically, so I can focus on what's truly important to me. When I clean my space, I feel like I'm bringing a sense of order and structure back into my life. This is very important to me because I have been working from home and I need a clean environment to focus. I notice that I have very messy habits. I mean, I move from my dining room to the kitchen to find the right workplace and I leave traces all over the house. Uh, dishes tend to pile up a lot quicker and this was very overwhelming and I felt like I could never get this mess under control. I know some people who love and thrive in a messy house, but I'm just not one of those people. It drives me crazy when I can't find the things I need or when I go to find it, we run out of that certain thing. I wanted to put a structure in place so that it, I can simplify this cleaning process. And one of the simplest ways to do it is the clean as you go method. When we clean continuously throughout the day by putting things back to its place after using it, we can tackle tasks little by little. Approaching our chores this way, we're less likely to procrastinate and feel overwhelmed when things really start to pile up. This frees up our leisure time to focus on other essential things. Having the system in place really helps me to keep track of our household items, if we need to buy more of something, or if something is no longer in use. Ever since applying this method, I've never had a messy house. And honestly, the best part about it is that it takes very little effort. Chores are inevitably part of our lives, so if we can somehow find ways to simplify it, I think it can help us to free up our time and also not feel so overwhelmed all the time. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to adopt a minimalistic lifestyle is because I didn't want to contribute to the throwaway culture. Learning more about minimalism and slow living has led me to strive for a more low waste and low impact lifestyle. One of the easiest sustainable way that we can practice this is just by simply taking care of our belongings. I'm actually really proud of myself that I've gotten into the habit of putting my camera in its case right after using it. I hand wash all of my delicate fabrics. These actions seem very little, but they do add up over time. This has contributed to throwing away less stuff and also consuming less as well. This doesn't just apply to the expensive items, but for regular household items as well. I make sure to store my food properly, remember to put lid on everything, making sure to take in my car for maintenance, I mean everything in our lives requires maintenance. Yes, it might take extra time out of my day, but I have found that the reward outweighs the cost. Without these essential items, my day to day wouldn't be the same. So I want to do my best to take care of the things for as long as I can. As the saying goes. If we take good care of our stuff, they will take good care of us. If you are a people pleaser like me, then you know how difficult this one is. I still have a hard time knowing where to draw the line when people ask me for favors or when people want to take up my weekend. It's never a good feeling when you feel like you're not in control of your own time. 
and that's exactly how I felt. I reached a point where I felt like I was forced into a lot of these situations and this wasn't fair to the people around me and also to myself. Decluttering the unnecessary things in my life, I knew that this was something I needed to work on and learn how to create some boundaries. This meant learning how to say no, saying it more often, and saying it in a very respectable way. Now, before I commit to anything, I ask myself, is this worth giving up my time? Just an extra step, but it really helps me to set my priorities straight and see the value in my own time. Now, when I'm doing favors for someone, I can do it because I genuinely want to help them. Making plans with people never feels like a burden. And when I choose to say yes to something, I can do it wholeheartedly. I know this is much easier said than done. When you're in that situation and you have the spotlight on you, it can feel uh, difficult. All of these things can kind of go out the window, but if we can somehow conquer one situation at a time, I think we're taking the baby steps to get to where we need to be. When I am purchasing new items, I'm always seeking quality over quantity. It does take a little bit more time to research um, and look for the best value on the market, but it's so worth it because at the end of the day, we can make informed decisions and also it has helped me to avoid a lot of the impulse buys. I'm generalizing a lot here, but quality items tend to last a lot longer and they're made with better materials or fabric. They tend to not be mass produced and the craftsmanship behind it is much better. This has helped me to use the item for much longer. Buying quality item doesn't mean that it has to be more expensive. Um, no matter what our economic situation is, we can always look for the best value for the money and that can happen at any price range. Seeking quality has affected all areas of my life. It has helped me to carve out time for the handful of people that I love, to spend quality time with them, to seek experiences that bring me real value, to eat food that will nourish my body and my soul. Seeking quality gives depth to our lives. It makes every experience more intense and enhances the overall quality of our lives. This perception made me evaluate what and who are essential in my life and gave me direction on where I need to truly focus my energy. I used to live my life based on a to-do list. From work, from home, I had all these different lists and I thought that was the only way to achieve it all. The problem with that is the list is never ending and I was trying to accomplish this impossible task. One of the biggest reasons why our to-do list seems overwhelming is because we think we should be doing everything. We have so many responsibilities and the list can keep us occupied all throughout the day. Everything on that list is fighting for our attention and I think this can really deter us from reaching a state of mental clarity. If you can relate to this, maybe it might be helpful to just take a pause, look at your list and ask yourself, what is a priority here? I always have a draft of my list and then I will go in and prioritize the top five things I need to do on that list. And once I get those things accomplished, then I feel so successful for that day because I know that the important things were done. These tasks should be the ones that move your life forward and not focus on the things that are minuscule little activities to keep you busy that just feels good to check off. When we build habits, I think we should approach it so that it's sustainable for the long term. And when we're consistent, these can really be the building blocks to a new lifestyle that you are trying to achieve. Of course, these are just gentle reminders and habits that have worked for me, but I really encourage you to try them out and see how they work for you and how they fit into your lifestyle. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name is Sophie and I make videos every Tuesday and Friday um, on slow living, intentional living, and also my life here on Maui. If you wanna be updated a little bit more frequently, then you can also head over to my Instagram where I post beautiful pictures of Maui. Thank you guys so much for your time and until next time, take care guys, bye.